So, um, this was a request by a couple other different people that uh, have asked me over the years, but specifically for you, my friend, um, Justin. I, uh, I'm going to give you a, a basic breakdown of, of how I do it, and then I'm gonna add some other pieces later, uh, more specific. So, uh, the introduction is as to, you know, why are we doing this? Well, there's two reasons. Education, number one, is at, uh, and commemoration, number two. And really, the overarching one is because we're commanded to do so. So, um, because it's a command, and we're supposed to do it because we are called to educate the, the, the next generation, and we are called to commemorate it. And that's why there is a specific order. There's a specific order and we call it Seder. That, that's what uh, Seder means, it means order. And um, so who should do it? Well, anybody who wants to draw closer, right? If anybody is entitled to look into, this is not a lockdown for some people and other people. Uh, that's, this is my opinion. So um, on, that, on that piece, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, anybody who's hungry should come and learn what Torah says, not what somebody else makes up, some kind of religion. Um, when should it be done? It should be done uh, um, on the eve of Nisan 13. Okay, whenever that falls, when the sun starts to set, it becomes Shabbat. So we go from that Shabbat to the other. And so a lot of people think that Saturday is the only day, you know, because we count like the Gregorian calendar on a Sunday and we, we have all these names to, to the week. And so this is a Shabbat, wherever it falls, and, and that's all it is to it. Um, and when I say that, I'm not gonna give you all the details. We can talk about that some other time. So we start from sunset to sunset. Um, the sunset also becomes important is because it was in the darkness of time and the darkest of hours when um, the light came. Now, was it like a shining light? No, is that the, the gathering of the people of Israel are the lights that gather together by will and by choice to leave the place of torture, the place of stress, the place of, uh, of being constricted, jobs, right? Um, and so, there is a big difference here in understanding what the Hebrew word for these two things actually mean. Um, a lot of people get hung up in other little details. And remember, this is a commemoration that should be done once a year. What's important about this one is that in this particular one, we as a world are suffering stress and are suffering situations that are really, you know, intense with the coronavirus and the scare and everything else. So people think that that's an obligation to be isolated. And the people of Israel, they self-isolated um, back then because they had made an agreement with one another that they were gonna go, they're gonna walk into freedom. Egypt means to be constricted. Israel means one who wrestles with the Almighty and overcomes. And so it means victory, it means freedom. And um, not only that, um, so then what happens is that, uh, um, excuse me for just a second here. So, so what happens is this, that um, the meditation of all of this is not so much the focus of Messiah because everybody wants to paint it that way. The focus is the lights of the shattered light when when I, Adam Kadmon, the, the first man, um, failed uh, or fall fell in that sense, not failed from from righteousness. All the lights were scattered. And so we are doing a process of coming together. And, um, and the meditation is lose the slave brain. 
lose the, the, that moment of uh, that you're always thinking that it, it's never good enough, um, that we gotta do this, that somebody's gotta come and save us. That's a slave. A slave always thinks about self-hatred. Uh, somebody else can do it better than I can. A slave does not think that they are creative enough to be able to do what they are called to do. And that was the biggest task of Israel, was to, can these slaves come together and instead of hurting each other, can they come together and become one? Um, so lose the, 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 the brain of slavery and gain the freedom, the spirit of freedom. And so you're exchanging one thing, right? Your brain is not your mind, but they're both thought patterns and we have to learn how to discern those two. Okay. It's a people, as I said, that needs to unite and learn to struggle together. Um, and versus self-hatred. Now, now we get into the Seder. The, the, the items that are, in, that are here. Pause it. 